Yo, what's happening everybody? I'm Eugene Hoots from Google Bordello and uh, these are my marquee memories. Here we go. Sonic Youth. It was in Ukraine, in Kiev. It was extra special because it was in Kiev, in Ukraine, because of just juxtaposition of like Soviet enforced culture and this absolutely outrageous kind of velvet underground on a thousand percent maxed out volume. They were on their Dream Nation tour. I don't think anybody really knew about Sonic Youth at that time, outside of like, you know, a cult. What struck me about that show, I mean, first of all, the music was absolutely singular. Kim Gordon was a very powerful performer. Kim was just going absolutely bananas. She was like such a strong front person, you know? They had a like pile of guitars on stage, like logs of wood. This is a craft, you know, these people like roll up their sleeves and get down with it. It's not about the glamour of it. Like it's like dirty pants, had that vibe, you know, like there's just like, here's all these alter tuned guitars and Lee would pull out one guitar and like play it and like throw it back into the pile, you know, and then Thurston would put out another guitar. It was a new incarnation of punk that we were like really jazzed to experience. So the second one is Shelter, a hardcore band from New York. As soon as I came to the States, I met a group of kids who kind of took me under their wing and they were like, hey, you wanna go and see a hardcore show with us? And it was Shelter. I was like, wow, what's happening? Like they had all this like Hare Krishna books and pamphlets with them. And uh, they had the look that was reflecting that, you know, they had like, you know, in Ukrainian it calls Osoledets. So that's very uh, Hare Krishna thing. I was like, wow, this genre, is like making quantum leaps every week. Now it's already like a Hare Krishna hardcore happening. It was a powerful subculture. I mean, I've seen Fugazi probably over a dozen of times. This one was actually just in a university cafeteria. Probably fit about 400 people. I think we packed 700 into there. It blew my mind because it had all those influences from Europe. This album came out, Steady Diet of Nothing. There's a song, Reclamation, on it that really struck me in particular because the intensity of its beginning and it creates unbelievable magic. And I thought, like, all I want to do is go to Fugazi show and hear reclamation song live like I'm gonna literally cut a pool into stratosphere just on that alone Fugazi comes on and they start with reclamation <laughs> apparently I wasn't the only one who came there with that intention so I was like in the beginning of the crowd and like five seconds later I was almost outside of the building <laughs> it was just like the catharsis of that it brought on onto the crowd it was beyond comprehensible that kind of dramatic experience just cannot be forgotten it's just kind of reshaped my idea of what music can do for me thanks for checking out murky memories don't hesitate drop in yours music is the uniter